pounds. Network. Hey, you want a freedom boner or what? Listen now. What's up? This is AJ from Madison Rising, and you're listening to Dangerous Grounds Network. And we're going to put a little bit of freedom all up in you. Sponsors and a song from my sponsor. Where are you now? By Madison Rising, <sighs> kick-ass fucking band out, out there, fucking melting Texas right now. <laughs> All right, man. Yeah, uh, I've, been, I've been watching their updates. Yeah, oh, I, I get them all the fucking time. I actually, uh, I actually just printed out a new contract. Uh, we're moving Operation I Got Your Six from July Fourth because apparently. Everybody and their fucking mama, which, this is my fault. 
I didn't know. But if you have an event, especially on the 4th of July, you got first dibs on it the following year. So we're having to move it. And we're going to move it to October 6th uh, down here in Greenville. So that gives us a year to plan. So we're just going to make it even more badass. Um, I've been in touch with uh, with uh, a new brother, David. Uh, works with uh, Irreverent Warriors with uh, Stephanie Parker. So they... We are planning a uh, we are planning a hike. I got the uh, the event paperwork. It's a lot of fucking paperwork to fill out. Uh, we are going to be doing it at the amphitheater uh, by the Reedy River here in uh, Greenville. So that way, the irreverent warriors can actually march through downtown Greenville and end up at the amphitheater. Um, <clears throat> and then, of course, Madison Rising will uh, will headline. Gives us a little bit more time to uh, to do the Battle of the Bands as well to see who wants to open up for the guys. Uh, so we're planning that, looking for a nice little venue, which I think we found one. Um, I just got to go uh, talk to them a little bit more about uh, about what's going on and uh, how we're uh, how we're going to do that because uh, apparently there's a lot of bands interested. So if you're a band. And you want to open up for Madison Rising, you got to go through Battle of the Bands first. So uh, there you can hit me up at bwitattoos at yahoo.com and make sure that you uh, put in the subject line Battle of the Bands. Um, we'll be having that here in Greenville. Um, there's no, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about entry fees and all that stuff uh, as time permits. I got the rest of the year and through January to, to get all that set up. We'll have the Battle of the Band sometime around, right there, beginning of the summertime. Uh, so that way everybody's got time to to get set up and whatnot to come out and open up for the guys. Uh, the guys will play a 90-minute set. And uh, so, you know, that'll give y'all eh, anywhere between 30 to 45 minutes, maybe even an hour to, to come out and play your songs. Um Looking for some good rock and roll bands, uh, country too. I mean, we're 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 not keeping it to one thing. Um, I would personally personally like to see a little mix of rock and hip hop. I, I, I would love to see something like that. that. I think that would be pretty badass. Um, that would but, definitely be a lot different. Yes, it would be. It, it definitely would be. So. You know, if you think uh, think you got something like that, man, fucking bring it on, bring it on like Donkey Kong. We uh, we definitely definitely open to whatever, and then the judges will be biased. Um, we will pick handpick ju- judges uh, from uh, from the community. Um, it will not be me. It will not be anybody from BWI or DGN. Um, we'll handpick judges uh, throughout the community. Uh, maybe one from a tattoo shop, some vape shops, and some other places around town that that, that support uh, what we're trying to do for the community and whatnot. Um, and what we'll do this time, uh, hopefully, if the internet permits, uh, maybe we can get like a little internet booster or something like that. We're actually going to try to broadcast before the show starts. Um, <clears throat> so you know, we'll we'll be having some giveaways again. I know for a fact, which I've already confirmed and got, where we have a Rock Island uh, M5 nickel-plated shotgun. It's a 12-gauge, 5 plus 1. <laughs> what you saying damn for? <laughs> <laughs> you already know why. I love, yeah. I love that fucking gun. Dude. Oh, fuck. <laughs> hey, I, I can hook you up. I mean, I can I can send you the dude's info and, and whatnot to get it. Uh I'm actually going to be taking a ride up there here in the next day or so, and uh, and go get it. But those will, that's going to be a raffle. Uh, we are going to have raffles and stuff like that. So, and we'll actually start the raffle for that shotgun here fairly early. It won't be it won't be anytime soon. It'll be uh, it'll be around you know probably about March time frame uh, when we start the raffle, and it's ten dollars ten dollars a ticket. Uh, we'll have special raffle tickets uh, made out for this one. So that way, and it's a nationwide raffle. 
So you don't have to be at the concert to win it. You can be in the state of Washington and still enter this raffle. And if you win it, we'll just take it back to the gun shop and have them mail it to a local gun store near you. Because you still got to go through your background checks and all that shit. So, uh, yeah, yep. just saying. Uh, I think we need a. I think we need a good comedy bit. What you think, man? I think. Uh, I think Ahmed and Trump would be a good one. Yeah, Ahmed and Trump. Let's see. Let's see what he's got to say. Infidel Americans, welcome to my first post-election interview with the new president-elect, Ronald Grump. It's good to see you, Mr. Elect. Why, thank you, Ahmed. Now get the hell out of my country. I was prepared for that. That is why I have come here to my safe place. It is a Grump-free zone. Will you get back here so we can get this done? Ever since I won the election, the first lady to be suddenly doesn't have a headache and wants, uh, uh, you know. <laughs> Good for you! What are you, nuts? It's a damn nightmare. Where's Bill Clinton when you need him? <laughs> so, Mr. Grump, what is the first thing you will do as president? Deport your ass. Nothing can hurt me because I am in my safe place with my safe baby blankie. I also have Play-Doh and crayons. I see you have a safety pin on your tie. Is that for the protests? No, that's so my wife Nilo Nelody. Her name is Melanoma. Close enough. That's so she can pin notes to me so I won't forget shit. Say. You look familiar. Have we met? You idiot! I am Ahmed! Didn't you used to be a chick? I am formerly Ahmedina. I transitioned. You changed school districts? You idiot! I went from being a man to being a woman to being a man. Well, uh, yay. Good luck with that. I was nervous after I heard you like to grab, uh, certain parts. Complete misunderstanding. I was looking for her cat. Say, uh, do you still have a cat? Fortunately, I am holding my safety kitty. Your words cannot hurt me because she is Meow Meow the super pussy. Look, I was just saying that to make Billy Bush laugh, and he had to with that last name. <laughs> so tell me, were you surprised that you won? Not as surprised as Hillary. <laughs> when will you start deporting illegals? Well, please do not deport me, senor. Soon. Very soon. And when will you start building that wall? Jose, when are we starting? Whenever you say, boss. We interviewed someone who is very afraid of a wall being built on the border and our relationship with Mexico. Take a look. This is terrible. No more Dos Equis, no more Corona, no more Tecate, no more Modelo, and now I have to pick my own fruit. Southern California and half of Texas will be deserted. What have we done, America? Your thoughts? Someone should deport him back to his trailer park. The main thing is that this country is going to get back to being the world leader and no one will mess with us again. Well, before we conclude this interview, I would like to present you with this trophy for participating in the election. Why, thank you. And remember, there are no winners or losers. We would not want to hurt anyone's feelings. What? For you. And you? For you. Uh, Thank you for participating. And you? And for you. Hey, wait a minute. I won the election. Actually, not for you. <laughs> that last one was going to Hillary Clinton, and he said, "Not for you." And she just had that 
crazy ass fucking look on her face. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> Jesus. What the?